Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to change uh, This is a 2008 Nissan uh, Versa It's a hatchback model, but uh, it should be similar to all uh, certain model or uh, SV model So this is the I'm going to help you guys uh, and do a tutorial on how to remove your uh, ECU Okay this is the ECU that we got from uh, eBay and the problem is that we uh, changed the transmission and some of the transmission code it is uh, on still on the old one so we got to swap them out and hopefully that will fix the problem because it's, it's on the second gear it was kind of kicking uh, hard so there's like a P045 uh, error code on the engine or the OBD2 uh, error code so we're going to remove that and hopefully that's going to change uh, fix uh, this uh, issue okay so let's go ahead and uh, get it started okay first of all you want to remove this uh, two plastic tab right here with a screw flathead screwdriver gonna pop it out So it will be uh, looking something like this, okay? So there too, you gotta pop it out. So make it faster, I already popped out the other one already. So there are two of them that's on the air uh, intake right here, the plastic air intake. And to remove this, uh, you just uh, disconnect this uh, connection right here and there's like a rubber uh, garment you gotta pull it out so my plastic is kind of broken so I gotta fix that and there's a rubber this is a rubber piece that you gotta disengage from this uh, connector right there and there's another one that uh, by the trans trans transmission cable that you gotta remove and then we're gonna remove this uh, out of the air filter box So this one just uh, going to the air filter box and then that's it. And now we're going to remove the battery. We're going to start off on the negative terminal first and then after that we're going to remove the positive terminal. With this uh, 10 millimeter socket so if you have a battery uh, <coughs> battery tie down you want to remove that first uh, since I customized uh, this one, so I'm gonna remove it. This is uh, made out of uh, aluminum. Alright, so now I can remove the battery. Oh. 
of her. And then you will need this uh, 1132 socket to remove the or disengage the tube that's going to the box, the air filter box. And then now we can remove this tube now out of the box. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. And all you do is just to remove the or disengage the filter box uh, out of the rubber uh, grommet. There's two on the bottom and then one in the back. If you want, you could remove this uh, battery uh, plate on the bottom. So this is the rubber uh, grommet that he just uh, fell off. It uh, locked into its uh, place right there. With this uh, gap. So you gotta make sure you pull it out on the bottom. As you see, there's one over here, one on each side. And then that is the ECU box right there. Oh, I gotta teach you on how to remove the cable, it's kinda tricky. But uh, Nami, uh, there are two screws that, that are mounted on the this ECU box. So I'm going to show you guys on how to do that. You will need this uh, long tube, uh, long socket, the 10 uh, millimeter socket. Okay, in order to get those uh, screws uh, loosened. So this is the screw, okay, or the nut. And then there's another one uh, on uh, in the back. And then uh, that's it. All you need to do is just uh, take it out of um, its uh, mounting uh, bracket. So what I'm going to show to you right now is uh, pretty uh, critical. Okay, they're like a 
little tiny button on top of those uh, three plugs. Alright, the plugs uh, look like this. It is uh, mounted down like that. You will need to press down this button and then there's a latch, the gray latch. You're gonna pull, the, pull toward the front of the driver's seat and then it's gonna unlock by itself and after that you could pull out the plug and then uh, unplug it. Hopefully I show it to you. Okay. And by the way, those uh, three plugs, you could only remove the first two first. You cannot move the one on the, which is this one right here. There's not enough room for the clip to have enough space to go down and unplug. Either remove the first, Second, you can only remove the first and second first, okay? Okay, once I disengage that first cable, now I can show you more clearly. You press, uh, you press this uh, down, and then push the this uh, grape plug forward and then just uh, press all the way down until it uh, to disengage the plug Alright, so this is the old one. I don't think it's going to be good anymore. Unless you know somebody know how to uh, program it. So as you can see, this is the one from the eBay. They put like a sticker. I'm going to remove the sticker. So you gotta plug in the third one right here first, okay? So you see what I'm saying? There's this uh, tab, the locking uh, tab right here. There's not enough room if you uh, didn't remove this uh, plug in the middle first. Alright, so hopefully you guys uh, learned something today and appreciate what I'm doing this for you guys. Uh, I try to uh, find anything on YouTube or uh, on internet. Nobody shows anything about how to remove this box. So that's why I'm making this video to make it easier for you guys to kind of understand. Hopefully, uh, well. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification or drop in your comments on below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Like always, peace.